Hey everybody, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. How you doing today? Hey, before we get started with the video, I wanted to show everybody this in case there's someone out there that would possibly need this. I'd like to get this out of my road. I'm not going to uh, give it away, but I will sell it for a reasonable price. This is a tube style um, film processor and it's digitally controlled. It has nitrogen to top off the chemicals and also to pressurize the system. It's all thermal controlled, automatic. Um, I have all the accessories for it and it has two banks of chemical tanks. I used to use the top one for C41 and the bottom black and white film processing. So this is a really nice machine. It's a Wing Lynch Model 5. If anybody's interested or knows anybody that might need one of these, get in contact with me and you can have this for a song. Anyway, what I wanted to show you today is over here on my table over here. I'm going to film it for you. This is an Amazon box that I just recently got in. And it has an, an Arduino starter kit in it and I think it's really cool and uh, so I'm going to show you that so that's coming up so I'll hang out for that these boxes always make me smile these Amazon boxes there's good stuff in them so here's what came the Arduino Uno revision 3 ultimate starter kit this is a really good kit for beginners as well as experienced users this whole kit cost me $55 on Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here well this is the actual Uno comes in its own little box There it is. And uh, they gave me a little book and some stickers. So this is the actual micro computer, basically. This is where we'll be connecting our motors and lights and things like that. And this is where you plug it into the computer and your power. Nice. I know if you buy just the Uno and like this cable, for your computer alone, you're talking 40 bucks. So this is a pretty good value. So it comes with a USB cable. Here's a little breadboard that we'll be plugging our parts onto. And why I really like this kit too, it comes with this plastic tray. There's a screw for it right there. And the plastic tray is designed to hold these two items like something like that I believe and then you put these screws in it to hold it down that way you can use this you know on your desk really nice that's a bonus inside this bag there's a, a servo motor a, a mini servo motor and a just a small DC electric motor so that's gonna be good playing with motors here's a 9 volt battery clip for powering the Uno I think there are 60 wires here, and these are the male ends, male to male. That's how you connect the board to the Uno. There's a goodie bag of parts in here. We'll look at that in a moment. There are some header pins here that we'll be using for connecting things. And really the best part about this whole thing is this book. This is a really nice book and it takes you step by step, has color pictures, and it assumes that you know very little if, if nothing. And it has projects in this book and you just follow it step by step. Here's everything we got in the kit. They have uh, actual drawn pictures, really nice, of the circuits as well as the schematic. So the schematic would be here and the, uh, the way the board will look hooked up here. Really nice. Let's go ahead and look in that uh, little goodie bag. Little anti-static bag. Oh, 
All right. So in these two things here, there's some resistors. We'll use those with the LEDs, I'm sure. Here's a little digital IC package that we'll be using for a project. This is a little relay, little DC relay. We'll probably control that motor with that, maybe. Here's a little push button. There's actually two of those. Those are pretty nice. I like the size. Here's a little buzzer. So we're going to be making some sounds. Here's a trim pot for adjusting things. There's three transistors. This is a photo sensor, light sensor, so we'll be doing projects with lighting detecting when it's dark out, I bet. And the rest are LEDs. Oh, there's another thing of resistors here. Here's another LED. This is a multicolored one. You can see there's four leads on it. So depending on what leads we use is what color it is. It may be red or green, that sort of thing. All right, very cool. Let me get over to the computer and we'll, we'll see what's to see next. Okay, so I'm at my computer here and I thought I would just show you a little bit about this. If you notice, I went ahead and screwed this down. I didn't stick this down. They gave me some double-sided tape, but I didn't want to stick it down in case I want to remove that later. I made the buzzer circuit here, and I just wanted to show you how to get the libraries for this. Um, if you go to the website, I'll put them in the description below. And this is also in the book, so you can read it. I'm not going to go into great detail because it is in the book. But just go through here and read how you um, set it up. You'll go to this website, BillRose.com, and it's all the examples that are in this book. So you don't have to retype them in. All the codes are already in there for you. So if you download that and you put it to your desktop, you can include the library in your examples folder. And it's just a simple matter of downloading it, which is here. And you can copy this folder here. And then inside the um, code for the uh, Arduino, let's see if I can get to it. You can just paste it in right like that. And wrong. It's saying it's already there. Oh. So you can just paste it in this folder right here. And there's 25 different things that will go into there, okay? Okay, so then you go ahead and you install according to the website, the Arduino website here. I'll just let you go ahead and read that. And then go ahead and once you've got all those files, just go ahead and plug in your Arduino into your USB cable here. And it will find the drivers, hopefully. And when you open your Arduino software, which is located on my desktop, let's go there. Here. I can go ahead and access those libraries because I moved that folder over. Now that we've opened up the Arduino application, let me show you a couple of these buttons. This will be the sketch area here, and the instructions for the code will actually be listed here when we open something. This little check mark right here verifies the code that it's good, and then this little button right here uploads it to the Arduino. There's other buttons here, but that's what we'll start on. You also want to make sure underneath tools that you have your Arduino Uno board selected, like I do here. And then your serial port should be selected. Now that automatically should go to the next serial port that's in use, and mine's three is the next one available. If it's not working, check that. Okay, so yours may be different. Okay, so now to open the examples that we put in that folder, you go up to File, and then you come down to Examples here, and then you come on over and look for this USK Guide Code, okay? And each chapter in this book is numbered, of course, and we're going to open up circuit number 9 just as our test. And this is what the code actually looks like here. And you can see that it has commenting, 
And you can actually come in here and change the code to meet your own needs. But for now, I'll just go ahead and play with what's here. So we want to click this check button here, and that will verify the code for us before we run it. Down here, there's our status, and it tells us what's going on. We have to wait for it to finish compiling. As soon as it's done compiling and you don't have any more errors, you don't have any errors rather, you can just click this button and upload it. And then that should start the Arduino. You see my status over here, my little green. There you go. So it downloaded to the Arduino and now it's playing. And that was just a quick little example, but it gives you an idea how easy it is. Now the nice thing about this is, once you've programmed this in, you can actually disconnect it from the computer completely, okay? And the program, the script, will remain in the memory. And then I can just use my 9-volt battery to power this, okay? Let's go ahead and plug that in. There it is. And it's there all the time. As soon as you apply power, it goes. So that's it. This is the RGB LED, one of the examples in the book. It just cycles through and mixes the colors. Pretty neat. Let's try something else. We have the light resistor, the photo light resistor, and when we shine our, you can see it. So when the sun comes out, the LED goes off. So that's a easy to wire little experiment not bad okay this is a, a buzzer with just a few wires you can make a little song this thing's, thing's pretty easy to program all right. Well, that's it for now. Um, if you enjoyed this Arduino project and want to see more, let us know in the comments. We paid um, $55 for this entire kit that you've seen today. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. It's a pretty good value, and it's a good starter kit for anyone, really. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.